Hello everyone, and welcome back to Real Time, where we talk about the movies we like. And the ones we don't. I'm Tyler. And I'm Molly. And today, so close to Halloween, we're not there yet, but we'll get there in two days. Mm-hmm. We're going to be talking about uh, a uh, pretty unknown movie. Um, not a lot of people know about this, I'm assuming, but it is called Spider Baby. Or The Maddest Story Ever Told. It is called that, too. Um, I discovered this movie because, like, the year... It was right before we finally got rid of our cable. I was still living with Mom. Um, and Mom has, like... During Halloween, she always goes through all the channels are playing scary movies and records them. And this is one that she just happened to record. And we watched it together and um, really liked it. Yeah, and um, I discovered it through you. Yep. (laughs) And weird thing about this uh, DVD that we got from Amazon, it seems almost like a bootleg. Yeah, it's it's definitely pirated. But, like, the... I couldn't really find it anywhere else besides a pirated copy where it was, like, insanely expensive. Like, we we did get this from Amazon. We didn't go to any, uh, you know shady backroom movie dealers to be like hey let me get let me get a copy of spider baby yeah we didn't pirate it ourselves so (laughs) anyway so this movie was both directed by and written by jack hill i'm not familiar with his other works are you no i do not know who that is i don't know why i asked you (laughs) (laughs) yeah because you know i'm not going to know uh, let's see. What else has he done? Uh, whole bunch of stuff in the seventies. Okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. This will be, of course, though, stars Lon Chaney Jr. Oh yeah, you can't go wrong. Whenever Lon Chaney Jr.'s in your movie, you know it's it's gonna be a pretty good one. And this is one of his uh later roles in his career. Uh, and supposedly back then he was a. a a massive alcoholic but he believed in this project so much that he was pretty much stone cold sober the whole time hmm, that's pretty interesting carol elmhart plays emily um i forget what does she do in this movie she's the aunt uh, the, do you remember the, the, one, the one who that who was uh, adopting them yeah yeah or the mean she's kind of she's kind of mean her character's um, doesn't seem to care too much about the kids in the house, more just the money that she could get from inheriting the house. We'll we'll talk about the major plot later. <coughs> we'll go through the cast first. Quinn K. Redeker plays Peter, the uh, one of the nicer adults there who's trying to look after the kids. Yeah, the uncle. Mm-hmm. Beverly Washburn and Jill Banner play the well, not really kids, but um. The ones affected by this disease, Elizabeth and Virginia. Yeah, I guess, th- are they supposed to be kids in the movie? They certainly act like it. Yeah. Now this disease, um, it makes them uh, sort of regress as they grow older. And a little crazy, too. Yeah, it's called uh, Mary Syndrome, as I remember. Yep. It was named after this family. Sid Haig was also in this movie. This is one of his earlier roles. Yeah, I didn't realize who he was until I watched it with you, and I was like, oh, yeah. A lot of you may know him better from his work with Rob Zombie movies, but uh, as for me, I'm not too much of a fan of Rob Zombie's movies, to be honest. Never seen him. And that's all the major players we have here. Yeah. So, uh, why don't you uh, explain this plot real quick? All right. So, this brother and sister um, go... They get, like, a lawyer, and they want to go check up on their family because they haven't heard from a while, and they think it's about time that they inherit the house because they understand that this... that. That side of the family has like a disease, so they're gonna go in and see if they can inherit it and kind of become the caretakers of the house. The uncle's really nice. 
Uh, but the sister's more, you know, kind of mean. She's more in it for the money and the house. But the uncle does seem to care about um, Virginia and Elizabeth and Bru. No, and uh, oh, Ralph. That's the kids' names. Uh, and Bruno, who is played by Lon Chaney Jr., as we have already mentioned, is he's the family chauffeur, but he's has um, been like unofficially the caretaker of the house. He takes care of the kids, and we later find out the adults that are in the basement. And these adults have regressed so far that they're more just like uh, bloodthirsty animals that he has to take care of in the basement. Um, but anyway. They go to the house and they discover that it's very strange. Um, the lawyer has an assistant, so the uncle leaves with the lawyer's assistant to go take her to a hotel because they're going to spend the night. Um, while they're spending the night, a bunch of crazy things happen. The girls kill the lawyer. Ralph rapes this the sister. Well, yeah, Emily, that's her name. Um, so everything just kind of tumbles into chaos. We discover that they're keeping their, the girls are keeping their dad's body in his room and he's like just a rotting corpse. Um, and there's spiders everywhere. That's where the movie gets its name. There's spiders. The girl Virginia is obsessed with spiders and she plays the game, a game that's called Spider. And that's just basically she stabs people with knives, catches them in the web, and then just stabs them. Um, so it gets pretty crazy. The brother and the assistant come back because they can't find any uh, vacant hotel rooms. Um, and, uh, yeah, they they try. They're attempted to get killed by the girls. But Bruno comes back. He brings some dynamite because we... It makes sense in the movie. I'm probably doing a bad job explaining it, but there is some road construction going on, and they're like tearing down like a, a, a hill or something, some rocks. So that's where he gets the dynamite from. Um, so the brother Peter and the assistant get out of the house while Bruno blows himself and the whole house up with the dynamite. So there's only two survivors. Um, and we see at the beginning of the movie, the brother Peter is kind of telling you what's happening. And so at the end, it goes back to the brother Peter explaining, you know, how, well, that's the end of the disease. Um, everything blew up, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, but now he's married to that assistant and he has a daughter. And we see that, in fact, the disease still lives on in his daughter we see that at the end so it ends in a pretty interesting twist um it's crazy it's creepy i really like it i it's i think it's just okay i can see how pe some people would not like this movie but i i really do i think it's creepy um the the girls are weird ralph is weird um, I think it's a good movie to watch around Halloween time. It's a good underrated movie. I mean, above all else, really, Lon Chaney Jr. is what, what makes me actually get through it. Yeah, you gotta show Lon Chaney Jr. some love. If you're a fan and you haven't seen this movie, um, I think you should. It's definitely not for everybody, but I certainly like it. Like, literally, in my letterbox review in this movie, I said, Lon Chaney Jr.'s character is just doing his best dealing with this family's nonsense. Yeah, that's basically it. The poor guy has to deal with so much. <laughs> he did not sign up for this, but he just kind of has to take care of these three insane children. You, you can just see in his performance, he's just so stressed out by this family. But So by the end, he's just, you know what, I'm going to kill myself yeah. and all of you. I'm not. I'm not taking. I'm not going without taking you down with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just blowing up the whole place. Look, y'all don't have any part of this. Y'all can leave. We're dying. <laughs> we're, we're going. Yeah. Bye. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So, uh, we, I just found this out right before we started recording, but there is a Spider Baby remake set to uh, release this year. Yeah. Very uh, low-budget indie um, project, but uh, it, it, it looks like something. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you got, you got to give those low-budget films a chance, um, because there could be some hidden gems. I mean, if we didn't give give indie films a chance we wouldn't have stuff like halloween or texas chainsaw massacre mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or you know yeah good things can come from indie movies for sure and not even just talking horror we, we got clerks out of it too yeah uh for watching the trailer it seems to have lost the charm or whatever to it but that could just be me yeah and it it may just be the exact same story as the original, but like updated a bit. Mm-hmm. But if we get a chance to see it, we'll definitely do that. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, no sense in asking who who our favorite characters are because it's clearly Lon Chaney Jr. Yeah, it probably is because he is a really good guy taking care of this family that he's not related to. He just works for. Um, And I don't even think he's probably getting paid anymore because the people who paid him are all crazy now. So So that means they're probably paying him more. (laughs) Maybe. Or he's just, yeah, he's just taking care of these kids the best he can and these crazy adults in the basement. And he does a really good job at it for the most part. Um, But, yeah, he has to do what he's got to do, and that is blow up the house. (laughs) That'll do it for today, right? Yeah. So we'll catch you guys later. See you next time.